Okay, so I finished my cooler. I've put a couple coats of Mod Podge on it, a couple thin layers, it's dry. And now I'm ready to seal it with a water weather sealer. I could not find the FAMO wood that everybody recommends. I couldn't find it at Walmart or Home Depot. And I did not feel like going to Lowe's and checking. So I found this Super Glaze by Parks at Home Depot that we're going to try and see how everything turns out. So I've got some gloves, popsicle sticks, and a measuring cup. This is my first cooler I've ever painted, so I'm new to this. I guess this will be trial and error, learn as we go kind of thing. So part B, the activator, and part A. It's a one-to-one -one ratio. We're just going to look over the instructions just to be safe. I already kind of read over the outside instructions, but let's just double check. I'm going to pause it during this. Okay, so here we go. Read the directions, whatever. Um, Honestly, I'm kind of scared to use this super glaze since everybody recommends the uh, fan wood. So <laughs> I'm kind of really apprehensive about this, but uh, I'm this far, so I'm going to do it. It's a one-to-one -one ratio, so the way I'm going to measure it is I'm going to pour some A into... Whoops, first let me put my gloves on. Yeah, that'll be safe. Good idea, Shannon. Okay, so gloves on. This is how I'm measuring it. Let's start with, I don't know, two ounces? I think two ounces may be enough for the lid. Uh, I don't know, let's go four ounces. I guess it's better to mix more than Less. Okay. Four ounces of A and four ounces of B. Boom. We'll go to eight, eight ounces on this measuring thing. Measuring cup, whatever. Um, everything I've read, YouTube, you guys, the instructions say to start off mixing really slow for less bubbles. Two to five minutes. So I'll be mixing for two to five minutes very slow, just like this. Round and round she goes. When she stops, you'll know. <laughs> Yeah, so the squawking in the background is a little Quaker parrot that I have. Uh, if he can't see me, he gets really loud. He can hear me, so he's trying to talk back, I guess. So I'm going to just continue to stir and stir some more. And I'm just going to keep stirring here. Now, I'm also read too, when you stir, make sure you stir the sides, the bottom, making sure everything is incorporated. You're scraping the sides, you're scraping at the bottom, and you're twirly, twirly, twirly in, round and round she goes. And I also read that the more you stir, the clearer the resin gets. This mixing all A and B together. Stir, 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 scrape, scrape, scrape. 
Stir, stir, stir. Twirly, twirly, twirl. Hope this works. It's got some air bubbles in there. A lot of little tiny, tiny bubbles. Hopefully, we can get rid of them with a little bit of heat. Stir, stir, twist, stir, twist, twirly, twirly, mixy mix. So it has gotten clearer. I don't know if you can tell. Yep, so I'm just stirring away. Still stirring, guys. Scraping down the sides. Stirring some more. Scraping the sides. And stirring some more. Scraping the sides. Stirring. Scraping the bottom. So, like I said, I'm a little hesitant on doing this. I, I've never resined anything. So I'm not quite sure, do you do one side at, you know, do you pour this on one side of the cooler at a time? Are you able to do all four sides at one time? I don't know. Um, okay, weirdo running in the backyard. Run for a strung. So I'm just, okay, so I'm going to start off with the lid. The lid, I know, you know, I can do that whole thing. It's only one side. Um, the cooler, I'm going to try one side. And if I think I could keep turning it and, and do more than one side at a time, then that's what we're going to do. If I have to do it in a two-day process, well, there you go. We're doing it in a two-day process then. So I don't know. I don't see any white streaks in here. Looks like both A and B are mixed well together. So I think I'm gonna go with it. Um, I'm gonna take a little bit of heat and try to pop a lot of those bubbles that are in there. Pop some, but not that many. I'm gonna go get a straw. So let's see if the straw pops any more bubbles. Okay, pop the ones on the top of the surface, but not the ones that are way down there. So, really nothing else I could do about that. Mix a little room. All right, so here we go with the lid. And 
honestly, I don't know if you could do this or, or, or if this is called a no-no, but I'm doing it. I'm gonna brush. I'm gonna brush to smear it out and smooth it out. Don't kill me, don't hate me, don't judge me. Learn from me, <laughs> learn from my mistakes. Um, what's on top, I'm just going to try to encourage it to spill over the sides. Um, I'm just encouraging it by pushing from the middle to the edges and kind of let it spill over like a ganache. A ganache, ganache, ganache. The, and honestly y'all, it doesn't have a strong chemical smell which is awesome because I live in South Georgia and it's like 103 outside with the humidity. So uh, it's nice to be able to do this in the air conditioner. And another thing is I think it would be too hot outside to actually do this. I'm just gonna turn it so I can get this other side here. And again, I'm going to encourage the resin to spill over this side. Just by lightly pushing it outwards. And then keep going. This is a, a an inexpensive little brush that I don't mind trashing. Drips out, and I think I've got the whole thing covered. So I'm going to take my straw and see if I can blow any of the bubbles out. I'm just very lightly blowing. I definitely recommend this stage because I see all kind of little bubbles popping. See if you guys can see. Oops. I could you hear your TV? Can you shut that door, please?
surprise. So I think that the straw blowing is a, a crucial part because it literally uh, popped pretty much every little bubble I saw. All right, so there's the lid. That's the easy part, <laughs> right? The easy part. Let me pop you guys back up. And we're gonna try the cooler. Thank <laughs> you. 